Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Joe. I wanted to take a minute today to talk to you about our essential beliefs uh, that we have at Calvary. We have five essential beliefs and Pastor Chad has uh, shared the first two. I want to share the third one today. Uh, and do you do understand why it's important that we have essential beliefs, right? As a follower of Jesus, uh, simply put, we build our lives on what we believe about our faith. Uh, then when we fall into difficult times, when we fall into hard times, fear, uh, disappointment or sin, if you have a strong foundation, when you fall, you are going to be okay. Now think about it as we've been wrestling through as a nation, wrestling through the coronavirus. We have fear, we have worry, we get concerned, and some of those are very valid fears and concerns. But here's what I do know. The more I know and trust the foundation of my faith, which is the five essential beliefs, the less I worry and the less I have fear. When you know why you believe what you believe, you will experience great confidence and joy in your life. And that is what every believer needs to experience. Our third essential belief at Calvary is this, that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died on the cross for our, uh, to pay for our sins, was raised from the dead, ascended into heaven, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Now that is a very long uh, statement of faith or essential belief, but it's all centered around the nature of Jesus. Uh, I want to break that essential belief down into several chunks. First, Jesus Christ came in the flesh. In Philippians 2, we read that Jesus gave up his rights as God to become human. Jesus was not created. There was never a time when he was not in existence. But for you and I, he gave up his rights as God and humbled himself in the form of being born as a human baby. He was born of a virgin. We believe that scripture teaches us about Mary and Joseph that they did not have a sexual relationship until after Jesus was born. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus began growing inside of Mary. Uh, and uh, uh, was con she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Jesus lived a sinless life and died on the cross to pay for our sins. Now, if Jesus had sinned, he would not be able to uh, be a perfect sacrifice for our sins. Who would be able to pay for his sins if Jesus had not lived a perfect life? But because he was fully God and fully man, Jesus was able to live his life perfectly. And because he lived his life without sinning, he fulfilled the Old Testament law. Because he was perfect, he was able to pay the price for your sin and my sin. And now we are only underneath the law to love God and love one another. Jesus paid the penalty for our disobedience and rebellion on the cross. He was raised, then he was raised from the dead. See, uh, Jesus appeared to over 500 of his disciples over and over again. Uh, he even showed up 30 years later to a man who had been persecuting the followers of Jesus and he changed his life. His name was Paul, by the way, or was Saul, and then he became Paul. And did you know that of all the religions in the world, it is followers of Jesus who worship the one who rose from the dead. See, you can go to the tombs of, of Gandhi and Muhammad, Confucius, and you know where their bones are? Their bones are right there in those tombs. But the tomb of Jesus has been empty because Jesus rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven. Uh, like I said, over 500 witnesses saw him raise up off the ground and ascend up into heaven. And he will come back 
to judge the living and the dead. See, Jesus is going to return one day. We believe that. And, and what we believe about Jesus, we believe that he is going to return one day. And he's going to allow those into heaven who have trusted Jesus as their Savior. Now, I just went through a lot of content. I broke that statement down in several big chunks. Uh, that's a lot of content packed into one essential belief. So go ahead and make fun of us. But we don't know how to summarize the life of Jesus we have to know what we believe about Jesus. Now, when I was a boy, I memorized the Apostles' Creed. And, and I want to encourage you to memor memorize this while you are cooped up in your home. Uh, here's, here's how the Apostles' Apostle Creed goes. The, the early church fathers were trying to figure out a way how to teach people the essential doctrine about Jesus. How do we answer people when they have questions? And so they developed this Apostle's Creed. And this is a more contemporary version or a more modern version. But here's how it goes. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the holy universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now, uh, there are many, there's a couple songs that come to mind when I think about the Apostles' Creed, if you want to learn that as an essential belief. Uh, but it really sums up the teachings of the Bible about Jesus. If you know what you believe about Jesus... It transforms you. It makes you the person that God is calling you to be. Uh, I want to encourage you to check out this link for Third Day and Brandon Heath, uh, the Apostles' Creed. Uh, they sing the lyrics or sing those words of the Apostle Creed. So check out that link above because I want you to have a solid foundation in life. And when life seems to fall apart and when life seems to crumble, I want you to rest solid on that foundation that will not keep or allow your feet to fall or life to crumble. Your faith must be the foundation that holds you up and you must know what you need to know about Jesus. I hope you have a very blessed rest of the day. I, I pray that you will forgive me for this being long, uh, but the fact is Jesus is alive. One day he's going to return. Do you live like you believe he is going to return? I want you to live like you expect him. I want to live like I expect him to return at any moment. So understand these essential, this essential belief about Jesus and let it transform your life.